Hello everybody, uh, my name is Diego Saez-Trumper and together with Nikola Trojimovic, today I'm going to introduce you in our work uh, on detecting vandalism Wikidata. Next slide, please. As you might all know, Wikidata is one of the largest open source knowledge graph that is largely used by our communities and also uh, used by the industry. As, as any Wikimedia project, Wikidata is a collaborative space that is not the extent of vandalism and bad actors. That's why following our previous work on vandalism detection on Wikipedia, we decided to create a model that identifies content that might be reverted in Wikidata and that requires uh, human attention, especially from patrollers. So that's why we create this model that uh, Nicola is going to explain now. Thank you, Diego. I will start with the few challenges that we faced at the beginning of the development. And first of all, that was the content representation. Uh, so basically, in order to analyze the difference between the content of two Wikidata revisions, we are analyzing the wiki text. And wiki text of Wikidata item, that is the complex nested structure of the dictionaries and lists saved in the text, actually. And the problem is that when parsing this structure, uh, it is very difficult to understand what was changed because this change might be in the single value. It can be the change even in the structure of the whole um, record. And as a result, the previous iterations of the models aiming to detect the vandalism of the um, Wikidata um, used very limited signal of the changes in content. And yeah, that is the example how this um, Wikidata record looks like in the wiki text. And you can see some uh, labels or some record which refers to that this entity is, type, is the instance of human, for example. And yeah, another challenge was the same uh, as we had in our previous work for detecting the vandalism in Wikipedia, uh, and that is the fairness challenge. Um, as anonymous users usually have the higher revert rate, and as a result, training on the historical data model can overfit and causing anonymous users to be discriminated. And as a result, those users are not converting to active editors, which might be the problem in the long term. So our goal was to create the model to help Wikidata editors to identify the edits that requires patrolling. And the contributions of, those, of this work is actually presenting a new architecture of the system, presenting the methodology how to mine the fine-grained content changes features. And also we demonstrate preliminary results that shows the significant overperforming the previous iteration of the models. Basically, let's start with the data preparation that we used for modeling. Uh, so we collected the um, uh, human-created Wikidata revisions, uh, starting from the beginning of the 2021 uh, up to the beginning of 2024. Uh, we split this in two parts. One of that was, was used for the uh, training only, and another part for uh, testing. And this uh, split was time-based, so all the revisions from the 2023 were used solely for testing. And the train set was also split for the part that was used for training the mask language model and another for final classifier. We used the deep diff library to parse the differences in content in form of inserts, removes, and changes of different types of content, like the text, um, the Wikidata ID, um, time, etc. And later, uh, we mapped the, all the graph changes into the text using the English labels. And in order to differentiate the different type of changes for each text, we added the prefixes, add, remove, and change in order to uh, fit, to, to tune only one uh, language model for all the types of changes. And that is how our system design looks like. And as you can see, there are three main type of features that are used within the model. The first type is revisions metadata, which are passed directly to the final classifier. Uh, more interesting are the textual changes and triple, triples modification, which are actually the changes in content. So speaking about the triples, we are mapping them into the text, and then we are processing them along, like together with the text modifications. And we are passing that to the mask language model to extract the prediction of it. That is actually the binary classifier, which was fitted to the same signal, but on the separate data set. Then we are aggregating those scores by mean pooling and passing that as the independent feature to the final classification model to extract the revert tree score. Our result 
shows that our model overperforms the previous uh, iteration of the model and uh, rule-based um, classifier on uh, all the tested metrics, like uh, the area under the curve or precision at different levels. And also we are analyzing the fairness of our model. Uh, in particular, we are analyzing the disparate impact ratio, which shows that our model is less discriminative uh, against the anonymous users. And also we are analyzing the difference in AUC score, which shows that our model performs less differently between the two types of users. Uh, however, there are a lot of work to do. First of all, we need to analyze to improve the parsing of changes. Uh, also, we need to enhance the process of the converting the graph to text because not all of the records have the English labels, for example. Um, also, we are planning to use the advanced data filtering techniques in order to extract the more fine-grained signal for our classifier models. Yeah, and also experiment with alternative modeling techniques. And thank you for your attention and I'm looking forward to contacting you.